Welcome back everyone. Uh, today I'm going to take you through uh, some of the paintings I'm working on right now. I'm going to take a look at three of them. Uh, some were, are kind of half done, some are completely done. Uh, but anyway, I want to show you some of my backgrounds as well, in addition to some of the little uh, detailing I'm showing you right here. This segment right here shows an assortment of uh, contrasting colors. You've got the yellows, oranges, and the blues and purples I'm bringing into this piece. And um, I'm always conscious uh, of my color choices. They definitely can be more harmonious if you use contrasting colors. One artist that has always influenced me is Charles Birchfield. Uh, he's a master at line and color and also taking uh, uh, realism and turning it into something more intuitive, more magical, as you can see in some of these shots from Birchfield. If you haven't checked him out, uh, you can Google him and you'll find tons of his work. Uh, but anyway, definitely a big influence. And here we have uh, some more texturing I'm doing with the acrylic with the dishwashing liquid that I blow as bubbles in a dish. And then you can take the paper and put it on top of the dish you have and these bubbles will uh, automatically start forming this texture. This is some rubbing alcohol here at the bottom. Um, I also have some small sketchbooks I started today with the bubble technique and uh, once again completely done with uh, acrylic and dishwashing liquid. And you can get them to look differently the way you press it into the paper. This is a little more large and luminous. This piece is called The Faux Guitarist, and I will pull away here at the end for you to see the entire painting. Uh, but once again, another mixed media piece where I started with acrylic and bringing in the Neo color and, and Neo pastel. And here we are back to the landscape I showed you earlier. And I'm going back in with the oil pastel at this point uh, around the sun. And um, once again, I kind of nurse these along. This painting is not completely done yet, and I'm still not sure of the solutions for it, but that's part of the fun. Next piece is called uh, Gen Z and the Valley of the Banned Books kind of a topical piece that I see every day in the news. I will pull away here uh, at some point at the end so you can see the entire painting. But right here I'm once again detailing uh, with the color, trying to get some more uh, rhythm, uh, repetition within. Uh, I'm using the Prismacolor pencil here to bring more detail. It will actually draw over top of the oil pastel, which is what the hair is in this picture. So uh, the, uh, these kind of pencils are very versatile Prismacolors are something I use often. I often arrange my paints into warm and cool colors, uh, and sometimes they run all over the place. It's a little messy, but uh, sometimes I like to get other colors that sometimes will uh, mix with the ones I may not intend originally, but it somehow works when I get it into the painting. And here we have a pull away of the landscape I was doing earlier. I'm still not sure of the title of this piece, but I'm still working on it. I'm not completely finished. This next one is the faux guitarist. And um, I had a lot of fun working on this, really focused on line, as you can see in the floor patterns, the hair, the pillowcase, and have some 60 groovy uh, shapes back in the background. And here we have Gen Z and the Valley of the Banned Books, definitely influenced by the news, but also the uh, young people I interact with every day. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.